theft of food meant for residents what is up everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lori if you are new here I am a family nurse practitioner and I talk nursing a little bit of lifestyle a little bit of this a little bit of that today's video I came across this article and you read the title right a nurse in Quebec Canada Quebec Quebec was fired in air quotes because she was actually reinstated but she was suspended for three days for eating a slice of toast you heard me on the job now I first saw this article and I'm thinking to myself what in the world what as I was searching up different articles to read and I'm thinking to myself then uh, oh for the toast I fear toast and she just get hungry and she just eat the toast or did the toast belong to a patient finally I came across a full article and I am going to link the article down below in the description box this article was from December 7th 2022 this is the first sentence nurses need to eat just like everyone else that is true but let me tell you how patients we act like nurses shouldn't get a, a lunch break I work in an urgent care setting and oftentimes I am working by myself and I will tell you I will take 20 minutes to go sit down and eat front desk staff will say to patients it's gonna be a wait because she's gonna go eat. and people will get so up in arms but anyways I digress a nurse in Quebec Canada she wishes to remain anonymous was suspended earlier this year which earlier last year for three days without pay after she was caught eating a piece of toast with peanut butter on it in the middle of her shift now make this make sense really suspended something else must was going on and they probably want to get rid of this nurse allegedly i am just i don't know to make matters worse she was asked to leave in the middle of an ongoing nursing shortage you know they're not gonna show that to eat because whether you're in america canada jamaica um the uk it doesn't matter what country you are in a nurse is a nurse is a nurse and there's nursing shortage everywhere so they're making that quite clear the dismissal letter which was obtained by a local news outlet stated the reason for her firing it said theft of food meant for residents constitutes a serious breach of your obligations of loyalty and honesty huh <laughs> okay it, it keeps saying firing but and then it said suspended so i think they're suspending her for the th three days and probably wanted to fire fired her until it kind of blew up and in the article it also stated that she went with her union representative so quite clearly it was a unionized place but this is why i wanted to make this video can you imagine if they fire or suspended nurses for that all of us all of us would be out of a job and me i gotta say all of us because myself included and please me don't want to hold you down though people in my comments saying i have never done that maybe you have not kudos to you but i will tell you majority of nurses will grab a graham cracker from the pantry a thing of peanut butter them salting crackers you know they don't belong to us so that's theft. We're stealing it. Child, this is crazy. They do not belong to us. Technically, they're for the patients. But a lot of times, we are working 12, 13, sometimes 16-hour shifts, and we do not get a break. We do not. I'm telling you, I was a former ICU nurse, worked in a busy ICU, had patients one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't have time to go pee sometimes let alone sit down and eat so sometimes yes we will go into that pantry and those midnight snacks are not for us they're for the patients i've seen nurses take the whole sandwich box um i don't eat cold cut meat so i never took that which kind of was like left over please who is firing or suspending a nurse for this? If any of you guys live in Canada and heard about this story, let me know in the comments. But I thought that this was hilarious. 
to say the least. And as the article said, in a time like this where you have nursing shortage, and they probably tell this lady to clock out and go home in the middle of the shift, and they probably were short because she ate a piece of toast. Boo to that administrator who did that. Then apparently, I think, I don't know how Canada do their whole thing, because it, it kept saying that the CISSS met, met with the nurse a month after the firing to get her side of the story. The president of the FIQ, Brigitte Perrier, you know how Quebec speak French, I don't speak French, <laughs> but she tweeted, apparently it, she put it on her Twitter that she found it appalling for a toast. According to the hospital, some slices of bread are made available for staff if the residents don't want them. In some cases, they even have to throw them away. So how do they know that this was an extra? I find it hard to believe that a nurse is going to take a patient's tray or the patient's food and it's not like an extra piece of toast or something like that. Now, if you're doing that, that's ridiculous. But I don't see, I, I, I find it hard to believe that any nurse or any healthcare provider is gonna do that. They typically will take the extra sandwiches or like I said, because I have done this, I have taken the graham crackers, some peanut butter, and some saltine crackers before, and also them little cranberry juices that they have in the hospital. Honey, I used to kill though. <laughs> all right, guys, that is all I have for today in this video. Let me know your comments on this one. I thought that this was hilarious and I wanted to share. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys.